What's good, y'all? It's the Doom Chefs React, and we're back, back with another video. video. What we got to this year? Today we'll be reacting to the Simpsons predictions for 2021. Okay, as a disclaimer, just because we're reacting to it does not mean that we believe in it. Okay, let's just get that out there. This is just for entertainment purposes only. It's so so crazy though because a lot of people are saying that the Simpsons has predicted a lot of craziness. That happened so far throughout the years, right? Mm -hmm. And I just want to be the first one to say that I've never noticed it <laughs> until I became an adult and they started right. putting it out there in front of me. But watching it as a child, I never thought about that. Like, yeah, The Simpsons is the main line for futuristic things happening. Mm -hmm. But since it's now such a topic, we want to look more into it and see what they got to yeah. say about, you know, what's going on this year. Yes. So, first of the month. If you are new to us, make sure you scroll down and press the red subscribe button. Mm -hmm. It's totally free and turn on the post notification bell on side of it and join us on our journey to yes. get to 10k subscribers. Y'all think we can make it to 10k subscribers by February 1st? Yes, definitely. I, I think that's a long shot. That's a long shot, but I think that we're committed enough to make it there. Yeah, so yeah, so it's up to y'all. Help us. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Of modern Nostradamuses or uh, Nostradami. Anyway, the point is, these folks are fortune tellers on a level we haven't seen since biblical times. So, what does King Homer and the gang have in store for us in 2021? Let's look at some times the Simpsons saw into the future and why some folks are freaked out about what they see coming for 2021. Since the dawn of Homer, we've seen the Simpsons make predictions from Super Bowl wins to NSA surveillance scandals wow. to tiger attacks and magic shows. Wow. Sorry, Secret and Roy, but to be fair, you didn't need to be the Simpsons to see that one coming. Just in the season six episode, Lisa's Wedding Alone, they predict video chat, smartwatches, and the construction of the Shard Building in the London skyline 17 years before it was built. It's not just the older classic seasons either. In season 21, they had Homer on the US curling team beating Sweden for gold eight years before the exact matchup in Pyeongchang. In season 23, they knew Lady Gaga would be in the Super Bowl halftime show. Although, when she did, she didn't take their cue on a fireworks projecting bra because, well, you know, divas, probably. Even when they're wrong, they're right. When season 11 came out in 2000, would you have expected to picture President Donald Trump conceding to President Lisa? He's inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. Hey, 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 don't get mad at me. I voted for Kodos. While we're on voting, they predicted in 2008 voting machines where people try to vote for one candidate and the machine selected another only we heard about that. in the very next presidential election when a voting machine wouldn't let a voter select then President Obama. Wow. It didn't count. Relax. How about some science? Homer becomes an inventor in the 10th season and writes an equation on a chalkboard. Years later, when scientists discovered the Higgs boson, also known as the God Particle, look it up, nerds. <laughs> well, it turns out that the mass was similar to Homer's work. Three-eyed fish in rivers, mutant tomatoes, stealing grease for cash, it's all been thought of by the ghosts of Springfield past. You might call them writers, but I'd call them prophets of Evergreen Terrace. Oh, and uh, did I mention that they also called Disney acquiring the rights to The Simpsons themselves? Smart Whoa. like a group of 20th century foxes. So, what has the internet community all up in arms? Well, I mean, besides that, and that. Okay, so their arms are always up on something, but what I'm trying to segue casually to is the fact that in the recent Halloween episode, known to fans as the Treehouse of Horrors, the writer's room was especially sour on the outlook of America in 2021. Oh, uh, haven't we had enough of this year? Well, someone left some black licorice in their candy bowls because they painted a pretty bleak picture of where America will be in a year's time. Oh, no. Firstly, they start us in nice and casual like with a general apocalypse since homie forgot to vote. He slept through it, and by the time inauguration day, January 20th, 2021 appears on screen, well, let's just say those killer robots are a little bit like like Hans Molden <laughs> after your typical football in the groin. As Hans puts it in the way only his kind, wrinkled peanut can. Oh, that's what I get for voting for Kanye. The no, he didn't. You already said it. Fenton noted after the election that the map actually shown on screen in the episode pretty closely matches what the final yeah, electoral that, college man. map ended up being. Some of the states that flip from red to blue match up. This could be a sign that someone in Springfield is a close observer of substandard polling, but fans are not convinced. 
How the creators of the show know this information is anyone's guess. Mm. Maybe these oracles traded their souls for donuts, or perhaps guest star Lucy Lawless put it best when she said, a wizard did it. Sure, we could flatly assume that they're just a bunch of soothsayers who landed a cushy Hollywood job to settle their outstanding gambling debts, but that would just be too easy. The truth is, the show has always held up a mirror to society, which has influenced society in turn. Right. Paul McCartney responded to a 50-year-old fan letter, as happened in an episode where Marge painted an homage to Ringo. As one of the original and longest-standing writers, Al Jean said in an article with the BBC, if you make enough predictions, then 10% will turn out to be right. Since much of the writing takes place long before it's animated, the creators are sometimes forced to project months ahead of the airing of an episode so they'll make assumptions to seem timely. Just this year, in a 2020 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Simpsons writer Bill Oakley spoke candidly about how the show has been eerily accurate on their predictions. There are very few cases where The Simpsons predicted something. It's mainly just coincidence because the episodes are so old that history repeats itself. We're through the looking glass here, people. The reason The Simpsons have been in our homes and hearts for this long is because they've always known where we've been guides where we're going. Yeah. For years, the residents of Springfield have been holding up a mirror to our modern society and sneaking in historical context to the point that they've made history themselves. What parts of their 2021 predictions do you see coming true, and do you have any predictions of your own? Share below in the comments, and make sure to like and subscribe for more from us at Screen Rant. Treehouse of Horror. Well, it looked like we already had a family. <laughs> yeah, um, this is... Hopefully we don't go into war, but it seems like we're going into a civil war. Yeah, and we, can't, we kind of have no choice, with, like, because of all that's going on. This is crazy, guys, like, because, again, The Simpsons does come with some real accurate see and shows that, you know, eventually comes out into, you know, our time. Yeah. And who's to say, like, how, how do they come up with this stuff? Like, you really gotta think about this. Like, how do they come up with such a series that complements our tomorrow? Right. And it's like, one way to think about it. Time travel. <laughs> time travel. All right, cool, time travel. Or it can has it can probably have been already spoken in reverse to say hey post this because sometimes out of line we plan on doing this. You think? I don't know. Our time Cause travel. Because mm, it's not just about politics. It's about you know video chatting. Mm, they, yeah, they, you mentioned they that. They predicted video chatting. And, I don't know. It's it's. I don't know. I don't. I it's just weird to think about, like how they know. Right, right, right. Mm. Yeah, this is different. Y'all, let us know y'all thoughts down below and comment your reaction request. We'll be sure to check it out. Definitely. Like this video, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. We'll see you all soon. All right, peace. peace.